So one of the things that iMovie users want to be aware of is how much space it tends to take up on your computer. Um, iMovie duplicates your media when you add it to iMovie. So you'll want to get in the habit of monitoring how much space your iMovie uh, files are taking up. Um, and maybe find a way to archive your projects. Um, if you look here, I've got yesterday's media is right here. And those same <clears throat> those same files exist in my iMovie package right here in the library. And if we do control click and we go show package contents, then the iMovie tutorial I made yesterday, if we flip that open and we go here under original media, we can see that this file exists here in I'm in the iMovie library just the same as it does on my desktop and so now this takes twice as much space this folder related to yesterday's project now takes up 1.2 gigabytes of space on my hard drive and I know many of you have a limited amount of hard drive space so you want to be really conscious of um, the problems that that can cause you now if we go back to iMovie quickly <clears throat> The way that you would potentially delete or remove those uh, projects from within iMovie, it's probably more elegant to delete them from here. Um, but in, you go down here, hover, and then you can go come down here and delete the project so that it frees up uh, space on your hard drive. Um, you also have, uh, just to quickly show you that your media exists here you've got your projects and another thing to know is that sometimes when you export you're going to add things to your library um, I don't really need these things in my library um, so I'm going to delete that that should free up some space so hopefully that helps you maintain some space on your computers as you record videos for your classes